Ride the Rockies 2015, the 30th anniversary. This year's tour is one of the most impressive yet. Traveling 465 miles and climbing more than 40,500 vertical feet over the course of seven days. The Prologue, Gateway to Palisade. In its sixth year, the Prologue kicks it all off with a 54-mile spin along the Unuweep Tabawatch Scenic Byway, concluding with some vino and a locally sourced lunch at Colteris Wines. Vertical gain, 3,937 feet. Hosted at the Gateway Canyons Resort, the Prologue experience presented by ViaWest is limited to the first 50 to register. Day one, Grand Junction Loop Ride. The tour starts in Colorado's wine country, Grand Junction, an outdoor adventure mecca with over 275 days of sunshine, surrounded by the beauty of the western slope. The 45-mile day pedals you through the breathtaking Colorado National Monument, known for its dramatic landscapes and famous for its role with the Coors Classic and in the movie American Flyers. Vertical gain, 4,702 feet. Day two. Grand Junction to Hotchkiss. Just shy of a century, this epic day will be one of the biggest of the week, punctuated with a 20-mile grind over the Grand Mesa. The 98-mile trek will feature Palisades Wine Country, Plateau Creek, Powderhorn Mountain Resort, Mesa Lakes, and Ward Creek. At day's end, you'll roll into the heart of the historic North Fork Valley, Hotchkiss, a three-time host community, thriving with diverse arts, food, and culture. Vertical gain for the day, 9,069 feet. Day three, Hotchkiss to Gunnison. Another big day with stunning scenery and four notable climbs. 78 miles takes you past Crawford State Park and Reservoir, along the Black Canyon of the Gunnison, and past Blue Mesa Reservoir, Colorado's largest body of water. Get ready to party at the Ibar Ranch in Gunnison, where they are no stranger to ride the Rockies, having hosted riders for 11 years. Adventure, culture, and history. Gunnison is Colorado, pure and simple. Vertical gain for the day, 7,466 feet. Day four, Gunnison to Crested Butte. Enjoy your recovery day with a short 27 mile spin from Gunnison up to the ever scenic Crested Butte. And for adventurous riders looking for a little more, there's the Dirty 30, or 35 to be exact. In recognition of Ride the Rockies 30th anniversary, this optional route will travel along a gravel road and explore Ohio and Kebler Pass. Whichever route you choose, you'll end up in Crested Butte, a town that eats, sleeps, and breathes cycling. With over 400 miles of trails and more towny bikes than cars, you'll quickly see why we chose this town to stop and party. Vertical gain for the day, 1,458 feet or 2,796 feet. Day five, Crested Butte to Salida. It's the longest day of the week at 102 miles, but don't be discouraged. What goes up must come down and the second half of the day will have you cruising. Highlights of the day include Taylor Canyon and Taylor Park Reservoir, the 13-mile dirt ascent of Cottonwood Pass, and views of the collegiate peaks will leave you breathless as your day ends in Salida. Then head downtown for the Fibark Whitewater Festival, and you'll begin to see why Salida is a year-round playground for outdoor adventure. Vertical gain for the day, 7,520 feet. Day six, Salida to Canyon City. Gravity is your friend as your first 45 miles of the day's 66 are mostly downhill. Highlights of the day include Royal Gorge Bridge and Park, standing tall as ever after the forest fires of 2013, and Skyline Drive. Canyon City, six-time host to ride the Rockies, is steeped in Colorado history and a paleontologist's heaven. Unlock your adventure in the Royal Gorge region with numerous activities along the Arkansas River. Four memorable climbs add up to a vertical gain of 5,834 feet. Day seven, Canyon City to Westcliff. The tour culminates with a half century day and an unbelievable trek over Hard Scrabble Pass. It's a tough 29 mile climb, but you'll be rewarded with views of the Sangre de Cristos. We're honored to conclude the week in Westcliff, who is hosting Ride the Rockies for the first time in its 30 year history. 
Enjoy unparalleled views of the wet mountain valley, endless miles of trails and meadows filled with wildflowers. Vertical gain for the day, 4,488 feet. Ride the Rockies 2015, the 30th anniversary tour. For more information and to register, visit ridetherockies.com.